Hello everyone. Well, today we're going to be talking about electricity, magnets, put them together, electromagnetism. I think you're going to find this very interesting. So what we have here is just a very simple electric circuit. And it's called electric circuit because, you know, the electricity is flowing around in a circle like this. Um, although this looks suspiciously like a rectangle. But anyway, we've got an energy source or electric uh, battery we have here that will push electrons along this wire. Here we have a switch to turn it on and off. Now the reason we use copper, you always hear it's called uh, a good conductor. And what does that mean exactly? Well, it means the electrons in this wire move freely. And the reason for that is, let's say that this was a copper atom. It's not, but I didn't feel like drawing in all those energy shells. But one thing it has in common with a copper atom is that this atom here has a free electron or one that's loosely held on the outer shell and it can be tugged away very easily, it can drift. And that's very important because electricity is basically the flow of electrons. And gold, silver, and aluminum, they all share that property and they all make very good conductors. Now, here's the thing that people knew back in the old days, was that if they turn on this switch, they didn't really know about electrons yet, but they did know that along this wire, an electric field would set up. So all along this wire, there would be this electrical field generated all along this wire. Now that's about all they did know. But then around 1820 or thereabouts, a man named Mr. Orsted was doing some experiments and he was kind of preparing for a, a lecture or a class that he was doing when he took a magnetic compass. Now see how this, this is always pointing in one direction. It lines up with the magnetic field lines of the earth. He got one of these and set it over the top of one of these copper wires and was very surprised when he hit the switch and look what happened to the compass needle. Boom! Look at that! Boom! Look at that! See how it deflects so easily? And it was causing this motion. He's like, that is very unusual. The only time he'd ever seen this happen was when a compass got too close to another magnet. Okay? And he's like, well, wait a minute. There is no magnet nearby. And then I got him thinking, wait a minute. Could it have something to do with this electric field? Was this electric field generating a magnetic field right next to it? And it turns out that's exactly what happens. Whenever you set up an electric current and you have an electric field, it will induce a magnetic field right next to it. So that is what was causing this magnetic compass needle to deflect like that. Now, at that time, it was just kind of a, a curiosity. It was very interesting, but later on, Another scientist came up with another idea. He said, like, hey, I've got a clue. This, why don't we take this battery, the copper, and a magnet. Instead of putting it together uh, you know, in a circle like this, or circuit, let's put it together in a different configuration. He took the battery, the magnet, and the copper, same three items, but put them together like this and created the world's first simple electric motors. Now, this was really cool because over time, people were able to use this to generate all kinds of uh, power. They were able to, um, you know, today we have them in refrigerators and cars and elevators. So they're everywhere. But that didn't stop people from experimenting even further. So later on, somebody said, well, wait a minute, this is cool, but what else can we do with a battery, magnet, and copper? So this next thing I found really fascinating. I took a piece of copper and I coiled it up like this. And what we're going to do is keep it from moving around too much. I'm just going to tape it in place. And same three things again, guys. We have a battery, we have magnets, and copper. And check this out. Watch this. I'm going to put it in there and whoa, did you see that? We made, basically what we got here is a little electromagnetic train. Check this out, watch. There, you put in this end and whoa, it shoots out the other end. Very, very cool, all right? But you know what? I think we can do better, all right? Let's see. All right, so here we are with a real train track. So you guys ready? All aboard. Here we go. Nice. Whoa, there we go. That was pretty fun. 
Well guys, electromagnetism is a fascinating topic and I hope you go out there and explore it further. Anyway, that's all we have for today. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.